Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Clear Project, brought to you by G-Stop, uh, in association with GT Channel Network. Today we are doing something a little bit different. I've gone to K-Tech and got myself some of these to be put in replacement of these. Right, the tools that you're going to need to do this are very extreme. We are going to need a hacksaw, we're going to need a standing blade, we're going to need a drill, we're going to need a couple of different um, screwdrivers, a crosshead um, to be able to get the bumper off itself, which I'm not going to cover, we've done it so many times already, and then a flathead to be able to tie on these properly so it doesn't go anywhere so one side we've done already to kind of work out what we're doing because the instructions were amazingly helpful um, and just a series of pictures so we've worked out what we're doing we're gonna do it again now and I mean I've already cut my knuckles and everything so we'll just do it now before it starts to rain so as you can see I care about this bumper we need to get at these bits here which are some star adapters which I have the bit for here move the cable so we need to undo this to be able to get out what was the fog light already taken out the um, actual bulbs it was just a case of twist um, and then they came out the wiring is actually in the car because I'm keeping that for an attempt at some DRLs so once these horribly rusty things come out. Ah. Sell those on eBay. This is where the fun begins. Right, there, here, here, here and here. Just about to see that? Wonderful. All those need to be compressed in. It's fantastic. <gasps> yes! <sighs> oh. Right. Now that bit's out. The real fun begins. This is where you'll need your hacksaw and you'll need your Stanley blade to be able to cut out all of this. As you can see, looking at the other side, you need to be able to cut out all the way around here to be able to get it so it fits. It's not fun, I don't enjoy it. There's lots of wearing involved. We're gonna cut back to when I've done it. <laughs> and here we see a wild James trying to cut away his bumper in his natural habitat in his natural habitat here we can see the young baboon trying to not cut his fingers <laughs> such a dick he is now starting to throw verbal insults at the camera guy <laughs> even though I'm not actually there and I'm voiceovering this at a later date As you can see, the man's anger is taken out from the previous alternator accident. Watch as I now try and approach. Oh hey! <laughs> You have no idea how proud I am of this cutting. <laughs> right, this is amazingly neat. I think pretty much it's there. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> the amount of struggles we had with that side are hilarious. 
seems like that's just gone straight in perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's actually hilarious. You couldn't ask that to be. I'm gonna have to try and find a gunshot sound effect. <laughs> that James Bond. Da 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 da. Although I'm sure that's gonna be heavily copyrighted. <laughs> right. I need the drill. So that's all in, everything's all screwed in, and they were very nice and handy and gave us some little like number plate cap screw things. So they're going in to kind of cover up those to give it a nice finish. So that is that. All done. So what we'll have to do now is because it's probably going to rain in a sec. Um, we're going to leave this here for now. We're going to test fit it as it is so I can see what it looks like because uh, I'm contemplating getting this sprayed in to be in the same colour as the car um, so I want to see what it looks like to see if I'm going to get bored of it as it is if I'm not going to get bored of it then I'll keep it black but I don't know it's the only bit of gloss black on the front so I'm going to test fit that and um, you'll see us next time where we put these through through here they're going to go through there on both sides, going to be sort of fed through and um, there's a little bit that kind of deflects it back in towards the brake so it helps cool them down. So that's the whole point of this, is to help cool the brakes um, so they don't get warped and have any issues. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, please remember to comment, like and subscribe and we will see you in the next episode very soon. Hot now. I have to remember to pipe these in as well, otherwise they're just going to leak everywhere. <laughs>